You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark, and welcome to a resource guide offering you the best and easiest to access locations on the map. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, kicking us off mutton, of course, the best taming resource before you can get your hands on kibble. Are given to you in the form of sheep ovis. Now, they do spawn pretty much all over the map, but I find at 50.9, 76.7, you do find a good cluster and a beginner area at that, making it very easy to farm them in quick succession. On to some menting paste now, and there's not a lot sadly, but they are offered in the form of giant beaver dams, giving you more than usual with wood, pearls, flowers, and mushrooms on top. Whilst there is a location at 5872, 3134 is certainly the best, offering you usually a handful of beaver dams. On to metal now, and this is the only resource where I'm going to go through a bunch of different locations, because the very best location is the most hostile place, the volcano in the Wyvern Scar, where there's loads all the way through, with the entrance at around 3166, offering you on top obsidian, crystal and sulfur, but yes, you are going to have to avoid a lot of wyverns. Now the general rule of thumb with metals is use mountains, with you finding a small cluster at 6027 with a bit of crystal nearby. Under 6060 there's a mountain with a good fair amount and also crystal around on top. If you're living in the scorched earth biome head to 8970 where you'll find a fair amount spread between two different mountains. If building at the castle in the snow or building anywhere in the snow, head to 2838. You'll find a very small hidden cluster, but all offering those rich metal nodes. If you're in the beginner stages and looking for the quickest metal you can, head to 3528. It's not a lot, it's not the richest metal out there, but it is easy access. And right opposite the big castle at 3955, you'll find a metal cave, brimming with a nice selection of metal as well as crystal on top. Now onto crystal as well as what's mentioned with metal, there are a bunch of different chunks all over the map. And I'll leave the cords to each one here, but the very best one you need to go to and you can get crystal by the bucket load is in the snow cave at 30.5, 52.5. If you simply head through the entrance, Bear a left and follow it all the way through to the end, you will find more crystal than you will ever, ever need. On to poly and chitin. Of course, poly being an organic choice, being much cheaper to farm than to craft, you can start farming with the penguins at the snow biome, but I would fully encourage you to go and farm the mantis at the scorched earth wastelands that spawn by the bucket load and offer plenty of organic poly and plenty of chitin. Of course, you're going to need to farm those cinematic crapses with. You can also find mantis at the volcano, but scorched earth is certainly where it's at. Now silica pearls, as you'd expect, are all over the seabed, but if you want some very quick, easy to access silica pearls at beginner stage, head straight to 60.1, 73.2, where you will find a shallow beach brimming with all the pearls you're ever going to need at that stage. It's a great place. It's certainly the best place to farm these before you've got any scuba gear. On to black pearls now, and yes, there are places at the seabed again, but there are two great locations to go. My favorite being at the Artifact of the Cunning Cave at 55.771, where it's a pretty easy to access entrance. And when you come out to your first opening, you will find a shallow lake just below you brimming with plenty of black pearls, certainly enough to get you started before you can go deep underwater. There's also another place at the Artifact of the Strong Cave, the Aberration Cave at 26.354. But with the hostiles there, I do find the Cunning Cave is just a bit easier to farm. For Obsidian, there's a bunch of different places all over the map, again at mountain tops and brimming once again within the Wyvern Scar. But there is an almighty mountain full by the bucket load of Obsidian at 4034, with a few small nodes of metal nearby. Now, oil seems to be one of the more hardest ones to find, with none seeming to spawn on the surface and most very deep underwater. But at 31.524, you will find a pretty shallow area, especially useful for beginners, with one pretty high up near the beach, but many spread out throughout that area, all very much closer to the surface than you're going to find anywhere else. You can also go for oil pumps at the Scorched Earth biome, and they are spread pretty much throughout that biome. 
Now red gems, blue gems and green gems, there are a few places for you to farm these and I'll drop the cords here now, but there is one place where you can farm all of them at once, meaning you haven't got to spread it to get each individual gem. You will need some scuba gear for this one though sadly and go straight underwater at 2117.8 all the way down to the bottom where you will find a cave to pop out of and there you go all of the gems all grouped together allowing you to farm these at once. Sulfur, you're going to need sulfur more importantly now because magmas are using these to be raised with instead of ambergris seeing that doesn't spawn on this map and you can find a bit of sulfur at 8264 but a nice chunk at 81.470. With silk being pretty easy to access from the red flowers spread all along the scorched earth beach and cactuses just behind those to get plenty of that sap. And there we go, all of those I do believe are the very best locations for you, especially at beginner stage and looking to farm as much as you possibly can, as quick as you can. Good luck out there, I hope this helped. My name's Ras Clark, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and as always, oh, peace out.